Ooh. Oh, stand back. I've got this. This the subject is Oregon Rieslings, which I refuse to acknowledge. You probably thought this all's well that ends well business had all ended. <laughs> well. The abandoned Martin funeral and the Frasier reboot pilot may sound exciting in the teat, but it would have ruined the prospects of the revival succeeding. The Paramount Plus series premieres soon after the death of the Crane patriarch, John Mahoney, in 2018. Frasier had already attended his father's funeral by the time he arrived in Boston, and the show merely provided tidbits about the event. If things had turned out differently, though, the Frasier relaunch would have given the plot far more attention. The original idea for the pilot of the revived Frasier apparently involved showing Martin's funeral in his hometown. Seattle First Act, as showrunners Joe Cristalli and Chris Harris dubbed it, would have featured the entire Crane family in the farewell to their father. But the concept was effectively crushed by David Hyde Pierce and Jane Leaves declining the chance to reprise their roles as Niles and Daphne, since the show could not have dealt with Martin's memorial without them. The concept is fantastic on paper, especially because it will bring the original cast back together. In actuality, though, it hurts the Frasier revival. It would have been wonderful to see Frasier and his family back in Seattle and to pay tribute to Martin in order to get the Frasier remake going. Since the old group will be reunited to celebrate Mahoney as well as the Crane Patriarch, it will seem like a true reunion. Although the revival's illusions and subliminal Easter eggs are wonderful ways to honor the character, a dignified farewell would have been preferable. Even though it would have dealt with the death of a very beloved character, it would have allowed the Paramount Plus show to capitalize on the success of the original series and use the relaunch pilot to play more on nostalgia. In the end, it would have accurately informed fans about the activities of the remaining members of the original Frasier ensemble. It's no secret that the loss of the original actors negatively affects the Frasier reboot. Even while Kelsey Grammer is still fantastic in the part, his supporting cast can't really match up with his previous group. Therefore, even though it would be fantastic to launch the Frasier Resurrection in Seattle, doing so would simply make it more difficult. Even now, it's being compared to its predecessor, and because it's extremely unlikely that Niles and Daphne would continue the series past the pilot, their absence would only be made worse. Narratively, it's also challenging to move from a pilot for the Seattle-based Frasier reboot to a program set in Boston. Given that it was already done in the first season finale, Frasier would have to say goodbye one more time which would seem repetitious. The fact that Frasier and Niles split up right away after losing their father is obviously not a good image. Given that Frasier has already broken up with Charlotte and left Dr. Crane, he had the option of staying with family during these difficult times. 